Okay, so the air conditioners that we have in our regular room, we have three types. The first type is the zero conditioner. The zero conditioner is used. The usage of the zero conditioner used to talk about the results of an action or situation, which are always true. We can use when instead of if. So when I say always true, it means that I'm talking about facts. What's the meaning of fact? Things that's going to happen whether you wish or you don't. So let's see the example. If the sun shines, snow melts. This is a fact. This is going to happen. So as you can see, we really divide our sentence into two clauses. The first clause is called the if clause, and the second one is the result. What happens because of this is the result that we call, or the clause that we call the result. As you can see, that this is how the formation is set up. If clause, the main clause. If here is the state of present simple tense, along with the present simple tense in the main clause. So as you can see, that the zero conditional is very simple. You only have to think or to know that this is sure, that this is a fact, this is something that's going to happen, we call it general truth. So we're going to use the present simple in both clauses. Okay. That was the zero condition. Let's move now to the first condition. The first condition, its usage is used to express real or very probable situations in the present or in the future. So we said first that in the zero conditional, we're talking about the general truth, something which is assured, something that's going to happen. But here, we're talking about a very high probability, something that, something that might happen, and it might really happen, but I'm not 100% sure. It's not like the sun is going to rise up from the, from the sky in the morning. It's not a fact, but it has a very high probability of happening. So let's see. It's used to express real or very probable situations in the present or the future. The example, if he doesn't study hard, he won't pass his exam. So, this is something probable, something normal that's going to happen. How? If you don't study, you will fail. That's a high probability stated thing. So the fact is, it's not a fact. As you can see, you can just succeed without studying. You can be very smart. The exam might be very easy. You can be able to cheat. Lots of things that might happen that would cancel the happening of this high probability action. So that's why we call it the first conditional and not the zero conditional because it's not a fact and it's not a general. So as you can see, the example, if he doesn't study hard, he won't pass his exam. In the first clause, or the if clause, we have used the present simple tense by giving does to the he, and of course not for the negative, and then we used will, which is want, will plus not, and the infinitive form of the verb. In the type 1, the real present, the if clause, which is used with the present simple tense in the main class, which is going to be the result, which is will plus the infinitive. The example here, if he doesn't pay fine, he will go to prison. So as you can see, it's the same. If class, present simple, he will plus the infinitive. And then just a reminder, the infinitive means the base form of the verb, the verb without any additions or any changes. Okay, okay. Now there are some simple exercises that we would like to solve together about the first and the zero conditional. So as you can see the first one here, it says if I read too long, my eyes are usually red. So what do you think this one? Is this a fact or not? Just take two minutes to think. It's very easy. As you can see, uh, if you can see that one, you don't treat it as a fact or a general truth. It's going to be if I read too long, my eyes usually go red. If you can look to the second one, if I'm to bed early, I normally get up early too. We consider that as general truth, it's going to be uh, if I go to bed early, I get up, I normally get up early too. Number three, if the weather not change, we not climb to the top. I want to take a simple just um, thought about this one. If the weather so doesn't change, we want to climb to the top. And if you look to number four, if you speak English and French, you can work. As I said before, the can might replace the will and the might. They both have the same uh, job, which is uh, to give the meaning plus the infinitive form of the word. Uh, number five, if I win the lottery, I travel around the world. Of course, it's going to be if I win the lottery, I will travel around the world. 
Moving to number six. Now number six, my boss gets angry if I am late for work. My boss gets angry if I am late for work. And number seven, if it snows tomorrow, we can't go skiing. And then we have number eight. People get hungry if they don't eat. Number nine, my dad will wash his car if it doesn't rain on Saturday. And number ten, I will call you if she doesn't go to so this is exactly this is the answer that you have to follow. Uh, this exercise I'm going to solve with you. Let's just solve the first five and then we have the rest as homework. If we come to the party, you will have fun. If you look to the question itself, it's asking you to put the words into the right tense so that to form the first conditional. So we know that the first conditional, we put present simple with the F and real plus the to form in the other uh, clause. If the weather is good, we go for a picnic, so it's going to be will go for a picnic. If you a lot of sweets, if you eat as it is a lot of sweets, you will get fat. If she calls, I will tell her to come earlier. If Mary doesn't study, she won't pass her exam. And if it doesn't train, we won't stay at home. We'll stop for the exercises. I want you to finish the rest of the exercise. Exercise 2, exercise 3, as a homework. Uh, along with uh, just a small reminder, there's something that you have to take care of. The clauses that we have said in the differentiation, then we have the if clause and the main clause, which is the result. Sometimes you can mix it up. You can find that the result is at the beginning of the sentence, while the if clause is at the second. Let me just give you a simpler look, if we have an example here. Second. Okay. Have to follow. Uh, this exercise I'm going to solve with you. Let's just solve the first five, and then we have the rest as homework. If we come to the party, you will have fun. If you look to the question itself, it's asking you to put the words into the right tense so that to form the first conditional. So we know that the first conditional, we put present simple with the F and real plus the to form in the other uh, clause. If the weather is good, we go for a picnic, so it's going to be will go for a picnic. If you a lot of sweets, if you eat as it is a lot of sweets, you will get fat. If she calls, I will tell her to come earlier. If Mary doesn't study, she won't pass her exam. And if it doesn't train, we won't stay at home. We'll stop for the exercises. I want you to finish the rest of the exercise. Exercise 2, exercise 3, as a homework. Uh, along with uh, just a small reminder, there's something that you have to take care of. The clauses that we have said in differentiation, then we have the if clause and the main clause, which is the result. Sometimes you can mix it up. You can find that the result is at the beginning of the sentence, while the if clause is at the second. Let me just give you a simpler look, if we have an example here. Just a second. For instance, this one. If the temperature, for instance, this one. If the temperature falls below zero, so the shift water turns into ice. This is the zero conditional, but it's a fact. You can see sometimes we could move this clause before the if one. We're still going to use the present simple as it is because this is the zero condition. But what if it happened in the first condition? What if you found you will go to the prison before? If he doesn't pay the fine, this one before this one. You're going to treat it normally, follow the same rule. If clause takes the present simple and then resident is going to be taking the will plus the infinitive, normally. So sometimes you can find he will go to the prison, comma, if he doesn't pay the fine.
It's the same. It's only a mixture of the sentences. It just turns on the clauses. And that's it. Thank you so much for attending this session, which is I'm enjoying the loan. Thank you so much, my students. Have a great day.